Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna do a review on this instant indoor grill and air fryer. So it's got a touch screen, but let's go in and see what it looks like on the inside. So up here, it's got a see-through glass. Let's open it up. It does store everything. So I've got the air fryer and the grill grate all stored in here together. This is kind of the pan. It has to be in there every time you're using it, whether you're using the air fryer portion or the grill grate. But we can take this out for cleaning. And here's the heating element. And there's the fan. So we cannot remove this heating element, but you can lift it up. So if this has been uh, working, make sure this is nice and cool. But you are able to lift this up for ease of cleaning. And it's very simple to put back together. The lit, this glass lid also comes off. So when it's open, it just lifts right off. Very easy. So you do have to line up. This is the grease drain over here. So when you're putting this in, that's where that goes. That's a little grease drain. So it'll only go one way. That's because on this side, there is a grease drain trap. So it's got a lid we can take off. This will capture all the grease and there is a little window to let you know how much is in there. And put the lid on and just slide it back in when you're done. Now around back, it does have an odor eraser filter. So we look at this and you can replace this. There's what it looks like. So just put it back on. So here's what the bottom side looks like. It is four quarts, 120 volts, 60 Hertz, 1,700 Watts. Okay. So let's go back up here. Some of the hot air is going to come out this middle section and around the sides. So again, if we're, if you're going to grill, I'm going to grill some hamburgers. So this is the grill grate, very easy. That's kind of like a ceramic coating or something. It feels very nonstick. Then this is the air fryer. So if you're gonna use it as an air fryer, you put this in, it's got those little silicone feet looks like, and you just gotta kind of push it down. But I'm gonna be cooking some hamburgers, so I got the grill grate in, and then you just close the lid. So that is kind of neat being able to see inside. So the control panel is very easy. It is a touch screen. It's got air fry roast and then there's bake there's grill now grills what i'll be using and that's got l1 through l5 so press the temperature we can go down to l1 all the way up to l5 and then press the time we can you know put every whatever amount of time we want on it we got dehydrate reheat there's the start and stop so let's go to grill, hit the start. It will preheat and then it'll tell you when to add the food. And then there is a cancel button here. But again, if we want to do air fry, select the temperature with this knob, and then hit the time. And when you got the time and temperature you want, hit the start button. But we'll cancel that. Let's go back to grill. Okay, so in the manual that comes with it, it talks about these different temperatures. So it's got cooking timetable. It's also got like for vegetables. We're gonna be cooking beef, burgers. We want L5, which is 500 degrees, 12 to 13 minutes. And it even tells us what we're shooting for. We're shooting for 160 degree internal temperature of the hamburgers. Okay, so let's preheat it. Let's press the grill button. I want L5 um, temperature. Let's go down to 12 minutes and hit the start button. So it's gonna start preheating. Okay, so it's been preheating for about two and a half minutes. There's a bar going across. Now, I had it wrong. For fresh beef patties, it's five to six minutes. Frozen beef patties was for 12 to 13 minutes. So if I want to change the time, hit time. Turn this down to six minutes and hit the start button. Now, the time doesn't start until you get past preheating. And then once I open the lid, put the hamburger patties, then the countdown clock will start. Okay, so it took almost seven minutes. Now it's beeping and saying add food. All right, so let's open it up. So it got the grill grate pretty, yeah, 476. Wow, that is really hot. So let's put the hamburgers on. Then we'll close the lid and it should start the countdown timer and it's on the cooking side now. Okay, so it's been two minutes. Yeah, the hamburgers are looking really good. 
Now around back, I am getting a little bit of uh, um, steam coming up around here, but mainly the hot air comes out right here. Yeah, right here where that filter was. So you definitely won't want to place this right up against the wall. You're going to want to give yourself some room. Okay, so halfway through, it did beep at me and told me to turn the food. Okay, so let's lift it up. Turn it. Got some nice grill marks on there. And so when you open the lid and close it, it picks up right where it left off. So this clear window is very impressive. I don't think I've ever been able to watch food cook like this. Now that window is very hot, don't touch it, but at least you can watch it. So once it gets under a minute, then it counts down in seconds. So we got 30 seconds left. Okay, so it says the word end. The fan's still on, let's open it up. Let's see how it did. Wow, 160, 158, 159. Wow, that one's done. Yeah, the hamburgers are done. They all have an internal temperature of at least 160 degrees. Wow. Okay, so let's take them out, see how it did. I'm also gonna cook some french fries too. So that's going to be really hot, but it looks like cleanup's going to be very easy. So I took the grill grate out. I'm going to make some french fries now. Again, it didn't make very big of a mess. Okay, so my hamburgers are done. I've got some french fries in there. I turned it to air fry. I put it on 400 degrees, 17 minutes. It's doing the preheating, but you can have the french fries in there while it's preheating, and then it'll just start the cooking. So here I've got the grill grate. I put some, I let it cool down, and that stuff is just wiping right off with a brush. So cleanup is very simple. And another thing that surprised me was, is I thought the lid, I thought that glass lid was gonna get all dirty on the inside. I don't see that it got dirty at all. But if I had to wipe it down, it's very easy to wipe down. Okay, so it looks like the french fries are getting done. Let's open it up. Let's take the french, yeah, these french fries look really good. So I got hamburgers and french fries. Not a very big mess to clean up. This thing did really well. So I hope this video helps. Thanks everybody for watching.